as for question number nine we have a figure figure to shows a sketch of an open container the sides c d e f and a b f e are rectangles which means c d e and f this one is a rectangle and then the bottom one the ends a d e and b c f are identical right angle triangles congruent that means this one and this one The container is made from metal of negligible thickness given that AE is equal to BF is equal to 3X. So we can write that AE is 3X, BF is also 3X, and then DE is equal to CF, which is 2X. This will be 2X2. AB is equal to DC is equal to EF is equal to L meters, L, L, and L. And they have said that. The capacity of the container is 12 meter cube. This is the volume. Show that the area of metal used to make the container S meter square is given by S is equal to Px square plus cube x. So they have asked us to find the total area, surface area. So at first we can use the volume formula which is cross sectional area into length. And the cross sectional area is the triangle which is half. 3x multiplied by 2x and then multiplied by sine this degree which is 90 which will give us ultimately 1 multiplied by l so l and volume is given which is 12 so we can simplify this 12 is equals to 3x square this will be 1 and then l so we can subject l which is 4 divided by x square so this is our l so we can write the value of l which is 4 divided by x square and now we can do surface area which is s is equals to uh, let's check these two triangles these two triangles are identical so we can find the area of 1 and then multiply it by 2 so half into 3x into 2x and then into sine 90 sine 90 is 1 so you don't have to write this divided by 2 plus uh, the bottom rectangle which is 4 by x square multiplied by 3x plus this rectangle right here which is 4 by x square multiplied by 2x So we can cancel out the x and the 2. So this will give us 6x square plus 12 by x plus 8 by x, which will give us 6x square plus 20 by x. So p is equals to 6 and then q is equals to 20. As for question number B, they have said that given that x can vary, use algebraic calculus to find the minimum value of s, giving your answer to 1 decimal place. So they have asked us to find the minimum value of s. So we have to find the value of x that the minimum value of s occurs. We have to differentiate this s is equal to 6x squared plus 20 by x. So we can rewrite this equation s is equal to 6x squared plus 20 x to the power minus 1 and then differentiate it which is ds by dx is equal to 6 to the 12 x and then minus 20 x minus 2 so this is a differentiated value and as they have said that this is the minimum value of s uh, we can equate it to 0 so this will be 12 x is equal to 20 x to the power minus 2 we can write the x to the power minus 2 as 20 divided by x square and then we can take this x square on this side which is 12x cube is equal to 20 and then cube root of 20 divided by 12 so x is equal to 1.186 this is our x value and now we can find the value of 
मिनिमम वेल ऑफ एस विच इज सिक्स इज सिंपली हैव टू पुट दिस एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन एट सिक्स इन हेयर सो लेट्स डू दैट सो द मिनिमम वेल ऑफ एस दे हैव आस्क अस टू गिव द आंसर इन वन डी बी सो वी कैन राइट दिस एज ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट थ्री दिस इज द मिनिमम वेल ऑफ एस and as for part c they have said that justify that the value of s found in part b is a minimum so as you have to justify this we have to do d square s divided by dx squared basically double differentiate it and then it should give us greater than zero value which means a positive value uh, let's double differentiate this equation which is d square s divided by dx square uh, this equation right here We have to differentiate this again. Twelve plus forty x to the power minus three, and then we can put the value of x. So our value is thirty-six, which is a positive value. So s d square s divided by dx square is greater than zero. It does gives. the minimum value that is all for question number 9